Hey, I'm Richard Fortas, and I've got a bunch of my stage played guitars that I'm gonna sell. I walked into Soundcheck one day, and I hear Slash on the deck playing. And as I'm getting close to the stage, I'm like, fuck, that sounds great. And I look over, and I see him playing this burst. As I get closer, I'm like, you brought that out? Because he has the very first Les Paul burst ever made. And I thought this was, I thought it was it. And he goes, oh no, 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 this is the, they made me a replica of it. It's identical. He's like, I know. I was like, it sounds fantastic. He's like, yeah, it sounds good, right? He said, oh, we're gonna do a run of like a hundred. And I'm like, can you get me one? And he's like, yeah, hold on. And on stage, he calls Gibson. And he's like, hey, can you get Richard Blaney's? And yeah, sure. So they put me on the phone and, and then, Yonke from here was going down to pick up a bunch of stuff from Gibson. And I think you guys had bought like, of the 100, you bought like a dozen of them or something. So I said, do me a favor, pick out the best one. So he played through the Artist Proof ones. And I think this is Artist Proof AP04. So this is Artist Proof number four. <laughs> It's been like my sort of favorite sounding Les Paul since I got it. And Slash wrote a little message to me on the back and it records really well and it's such a cool guitar. <laughs> I was working in Germany and I needed a baritone for GNR tour that I was starting. So I knew that Gibson had made a Les Paul baritone. So I asked them about it and they're like, ah, oh, we don't have any more. And they found one for me and it was red. And I was like, I can't play a red guitar. <laughs> and so they finished over it, which I, th I thought they just found me a black one. And then we were at rehearsal, we took the back plate off and I'm like, they just shot over the red. And I was like, wait a second, we gotta take all the hardware off. So we did and we drug it around the parking lot for a while <laughs> and then sanded it. And cause you know, it was all shiny black. Right. And you know, so we did the toothpaste and uh, distressed it <laughs> and rubbed through to the red and <laughs> Yeah, and I think it looks cool now. They had called my guitar tech. They said, we want to do something in honor of his daughter's being born. It was supposed to be a surprise, but of course my guitar tech called me and he's like, dude, I don't know what to tell him. I got, you know, I don't want, give them the wrong information or tell them the wrong thing. I said, well, it's perfect because my daughter's names are Paisley and Clover. I just want little Paisleys and Clovers as fret markers. Small little details. Right, yeah. just subtle, you know, just personal. And this is what came. <laughs> <laughs> it, it not only has their names written as big as possible, <laughs> but it has their middle names too. But it was a very nice thought. <laughs> <laughs>